Jungle spores are everywhere. Report spores. Affected creatures can communicate telepathically with one another. More are coming. Hush. Do you hear it? They're coming. They're coming. Tell me I'm not imagining that voice. That's a Mykonid. And it's warning us. They are coming. You are coming. Okay, that that might just let's get out of here. I that's what that was. Let's see what you are. So they know we're here, right? Clear area, that's normal. That's just light. Oh, actually, that's a good call. Turn that off. <laughs> Turn that off. They know we're here. We don't know who they are. But they are here. Yeah, the spores are everywhere. I can't, I can't even see them very well. I just wanted to open this chest. Wonder what's past this. My God. Easy, easy peasy. We have bombs. I don't think I opened that. Did I open that? Yeah. Okay, how am I going to get rid of this? Affected creatures can communicate telepathically with one another. I think the reason why it was Karlak to talk in that dialogue was because I wasn't affected by that. Got a lot of potions. Hmm. I don't like this. What is this? It's an elevator, isn't it? I don't know. It's a it's a it's definitely something where they load things up. I'm just stealing everything. I'm very happy about that. But it is a dead end. And look at that. Why do you keep getting out of hiding? Oh, that's where we're supposed to go. That's their logo. They have like a wyvern or something. Yeah, I'll continue pushing. Uh, I, I kind of don't want to do it because this is the Underdark. But also, we did go back because we couldn't fight in the Underdark. But now we can. We have two attacks per turn. Or per action, I should say. But I don't think it's quite like that. You have an extra action or an extra attack on your first action. Beware. This place is trapped. Correct. And also it has minotaurs and I'm about to click this button. Mhm. Mm mhm. Mm All right. All right. So I have advantage uh ensnaring strike that's ranged ensnares the target but Remember, the ensnare is not actually... It doesn't reduce their movement. I'll do this. Quite curious. Quite curious. I don't have the advantage anymore. Can I do this? I have disadvantage now. That was worse. Hmm. That was worse. Can't slow down. No, that that was worse. There's oh, there's multiple. Okay. Um. Oh no! Oh, okay. Oh, that, we're reloading. I that mostly because that was a misclick. Have to keep going. Also because uh, the correct choice here is actually not to go down there as a group. The correct choice is to stay up here. And I do want to send Giladel first. And also, I, I like I have no idea where. 
Why did the game do this? Can't risk being in open view. Oh, it did it. Yeah, I lose. That's, that's fine. That's fine. So the Minotaur doesn't actually come this way. I like that. Always room for more. Rob everything. Okay. Light on my feet. And he does that. Trap. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Be cautious. So I just want to be positioned there. No, not that. That's the one. All in. Do. It did. It did the damage. Okay. Then we have Hunter's... We have Hunter's Mark, but I... Also, I have a bunch of things selected, as it turns out. Um, why did you... Why is that? What was the game trying to do? It was trying to do. Oh, it's the bonus action. That's what that is. Okay, ranged... Uh, 90% is pretty good. I'm not gonna go all out. 90%. I should go a lot on this, though. 65. Oh, I have another attack? Yeah, I can attack for days. Let's keep, up, keep going. Um. Okay. So. How many... Rain... What? How did I attack that often? I know I have the extra... Do I have an extra attack on... An, what? I need to look at the rules here. What the fuck? I just brought that Minotaur down by... I think... It's for every attack that you do, you have an extra attack. Which means that me, on the first turn, I have an extra attack with the the free attack that I get with a re the my gloom stalker thing. So that's basically now two extra attacks, and I also have my normal attack on the first turn, my normal action, and I also have, but my normal action should have been used with the hunter's mark. No, that does check out. Yeah, yeah. Hunter's Mark gives me a bonus action. Or wait. Bon I'll get I'll figure it out. We'll ready figure it out. Uh, I'm not I'm not sure I'm ready for anything. Or for everything. But I did almost bring down the Minotaur in my first turn. <laughs> so there's that. Um, no choice but, to keep but yeah, it's basically every action that you ha have gives you an extra range or an extra range attack for free. Uh, which means you've cast a spell, you get a, an extra ranged attack. If you attack, you get an extra ranged attack. Or it's not just ranged, it's a, an extra attack. Um, which is... Yeah, that's just how higher level plays. But I wasn't expecting it to stack so often. I specifically wasn't expecting it to stack with uh, my attack that I do before combat, because that was a free action. But I guess it makes sense. You do an atta free attack and another attack, mostly because the combat didn't actually start until this guy was surprised. So, uh, I can just end my turn here and let them do it their thing. But I don't think that's a good idea because there's other things. There's this guy who's also surprised. Let me make sure you're surprised. You are. And there's Rumbling Earth, which is a concern. Uh, everything is a concern, honestly. So let's just keep people where they are. This is this is weird, but let's do it. Oh, the Rumbling Earth. <laughs> the Rumbling Earth. <laughs> Freak. Kill. Dealt a bunch of damage to that Minotaur. <laughs> That's really funny. That's really funny. Anyway, uh, this will give me an extra attack. As you can see. Hunt completed. Yeah, that's normal. Uh, I'll just go into stealth. And uh, I will just bugger out. Uh, I don't know if that's... Oh. This is still broken. Yeah, maybe I didn't need to reload. Well, I did, because I didn't do the... Not enough action. Your face doesn't have enough... Can't reach... Your... Your... Oh. Huh. Oh, I don't have the bonus action. Oh, yeah, that's fine. It's fine. Okay. Uh, we can we can climb back up. Yeah, that, my concern was actually because... We can climb back up. Oh, wait a minute. What's happening there? 
is something I knew already, is that the bullet attacks all creatures that are just around. You know, the, the rumbling earth. The, the, it's out. Bullet is uh, elvish for rumbling earth. Not enough movement. Seriously? Really? Okay. Uh, that's not ideal. It's not ideal. But we have extra team members for a reason. Because, you know, she can finish her. Or finish him, the Minotaur. With advantage as well. And that gives us the experience. And she gets the extra attack. Oh yeah, she's going to be amazing. Because the action surge gives us two extra attacks. <laughs> That's not... I don't think that's how it's supposed to be. Extra attack. You can see that. Yeah, yeah. I'm pretty sure that's not how it's supposed to be. But whatever. Whatever, my dude. I can't... Wait. Oh, yeah. I can... Because that's a bonus action. I can do... I can, I can ruin my thing. I can do dash. That's what I'm trying to do. First step is the hardest. Yes. I can cast that and get out. I didn't do it right. I clicked on the unhide button, but that doesn't matter. I, yeah, I figured I should be able to control her, but I can't. Oh, is she surprised? Or do you have like? I can't let you die. That was pretty awful. A wizard, not a cat burglar. That was tremendously awful. We'll make do. Come on, soldier. Yeah. Oh, come on. Can't even catch my breath. I am getting out of here. Yeah. Get out. Uh, also, Gale can do things. We we well, we probably probably can do things here ter territorial. Yeah, that's the thing. It's a lot of constitution, a lot of strength. Uh, it's just normal. No resistances though, as far as I can tell. No, we do slashing, piercing, and bludgeoning. So magic damage is what what we need to do here. Critical hit. Saved versus, uh, I think, ma maximum damage. Uh, you're going to take this. You're going to attack with melee. 60%. Uh, yeah, well, well, we'll find out how things go. What kind of damage? 35. That's normal. Okay. Because of proficiencies and things. Oh, she can attack from there. And she heals. That's pretty awesome. So that was just her bonus action that she got from her first attack and now she has another attack which is the actual attack that she has and now she has the bonus action from that actual attack and now she has surge action which gives her another attack but not a bonus action and this another attack gives her another attack which is the bonus attack Th does that make sense because i think it makes sense. i can see i mean if i can see it coming then it makes sense oh is that gonna break the oh that is gonna break that that's really bad Okay. Oh, we're out of combat, actually. That's a friendly-looking shadow. Wait a minute. Why are we out of combat? It didn't die. And it heals. Burrow into the ground to escape combat and recover hit points. Oh, this is gonna be... <laughs> it's gonna be quite challenging, isn't it? Time to press ahead. Uh, but it de definitely helped us with the uh, Minotaurs. You gotta be kidding me, Gail. Oh, it was Lazel. And she stops hiding. The moment she takes damage, she stops hiding. 
That's what I think that might have been what was happening before. Uh, either way, let's get ourselves prepared for some uh, light as air from this sight out of mind. And then we throw. This can only heal three people at a time. It actually didn't heal Karlak, but we don't worry about that. It was mostly for me. Anyway, save the game because because that happened. And this is this is our dangerous. Everything is dangerous down here. Minotaur had a skull. Rogue's morsel. I'm not a rogue, but I'll take that. And nothing there. There's a shovel here or something. Rotten fish and yeah. Pickaxe and shovel, yeah. yeah. I will borrow. What path lies before me? Put the torch up. Because I honestly, I'm what just going I? forward. That's blood, yeah. An amulet of the unworthy grants a resistance to slashing damage, but vulnerability to bludgeoning damage. I'm not sure I like that. Gail might want to eat that, though. It's very contextual. I like that, though. I'm not sure I like it, but I like it. Do you know what I mean? I like the. I, I'm not sure I like the item, but I like the idea that items like that exist. I'm all, I've always been a huge fan of the boots of ice, cold winter, or whatever they're called. There's boots that give you immunity, I think, to um, ice damage in Baldur's Gate One. It might be immunity or, or just 50% resistance. Uh, to, to to, it's relevant here. Um, I think to wit is what I was trying to say here. But it's relevant to say that resistance means 50% resistance in D&D. There's no half resistances or anything like that. It's always, you either, you either have no resistance at all or you have 50%. That's what resistance means. Uh, and you have vulnerability, which means double damage. Which is also 50% in a way, but it's all, it seems. Broken bones. Must have fallen. Bone caps. The bones must have fallen or the. Giladel, I I don't want to roleplay you like that. You need to be precise in your language. The the the, the bones w didn't fall. The people whose bones the bones belonged to fell and died, and b apparently or at least broke their bones. The dying is kind of happened after, I think. Night lights. We do nature checks to get essence of night light. Wow. That is pretty cool. And Nightlight Frond. Oh, we also got Nightlight Frond. Oh, nature check failed. That shouldn't be a problem, though. It is! You can't... Oh, well, I guess that makes sense. Uh, you can't get your companions to do the check. You can do that in some checks. And there's that thing over there we've seen before, I think. Wonder if the gods are watching me. So, yeah, moving on. I, did, I don't know where we're going with this. So, we came from here. And this is... That looks like... Oh, it must be from here. There's something down there. Always sneaking. Because what? Why wouldn't you? What are those? I don't know. What are those? Oh, I know what those are. Team masks. Those are... Things that you should shoot before you approach. Team Ass, of course, get out, get out, get out, get out, get out. Better be cautious. It doesn't tell me what the Team Asks, the Team Ass sports do. But at least I saved, so that's nice. Hmm. Breathe deep. No, not too deep. There's, there's, there's... You know the drill. Might be worth a yeah, we got chests all over the place. Uh, Glyph of Warding, Dimension Door, an Ice Knife. Good, good things. And a couple of potions, which over encumber me. But that's not a problem. It's just Grease Bottle. I think it's Karlak who's carrying them. Light on my feet. I don't need any attention right now. Mm hmm. That is why we're sneaking. Yeah, this, this... Uh, I don't know where it goes, but it definitely keeps going. There's the glowing bulbs. 
Let's see what they do when you shoot them. They don't even explode. Have to keep going. Oh, oh, oh. Okay. Nobody's sneaking anymore. Oh, that comes back? No, that wasn't the same. Why can you activate them? Save. Let's see what this does. Yeah, let's see what it does. We can turn them off? I don't know. Anyway, there's a rogue, rogue's morsel down there. And I think the trembling floor is, is around. Color spray. Hmm. Lots of those in there. It's a very dangerous... Oh, there we go. That's perfect. Yeah, very dangerous place. Stalk. Best watch my step. They like to explode. Not sure what the other mushrooms are. They're they're bad business. Fall by my hand. They're bad business for sure. Dead Dorgars. Wasn't me, was it? <laughs> I don't think it was. I think I'm good. Moving I'm on. Ready. If everyone else minds their business, I'll oh. be fine. Noxious Myconids. That's... I don't think any of these are the boss. But that's the thing that spotted me. The sc scroll of Tasha's hideous laughter. That's just normal. Let's be on my way. Let's be careful oh, here, but not too careful. As in, we go where we want. But be careful. Oh, that's a dead Myconid. These creatures did battle with Dwergar. Yeah, the Mechanids here. They're fire vulnerable. That's good. Nature checks being... Possibly, I think I have advantage because I'm a ranger. I think rangers always have advantage on nature checks. A bunch of Mechanids. And... Poison. Uh, they have... Um, Alchemical? Alchemical ingredients in them. Can I can I see what I'm doing here? Can you do away with that? Thank you. You're very nice. This Dorgar had a pie. Fragrant fung fungus stew. It looks like um uh creme brulee, I think that's what it's called in English. But it isn't. We know it isn't. The decrepit village is where we are. Must be very decrepit. Uh, decrepit because I come. I, Looks abandoned. Because I don't see it. I don't see the camp either, honestly. Okay, so these are. Oh, that's there's something here. Maybe. Um, I was gonna say. Wait a minute, this keeps going? What is that? Torch up, please. Look at this. It's got like a... an overhang. Okay. What I was gonna say is... This means... That we're sort of more or less done down here. There's a path this way? Oh, it's the way back. Or the way forward. Either way, it doesn't matter. What does matter is that we have these guys. And they're kind of in a choke. I see. Yeah, there's that over overhang here. But I'm pretty sure we're going to need to. I'm pretty sure this is going to be bad. So, ungroup. Save the game. And let's send Giladel in. Because she's the one that talks. Excuse me? Another step forward. You don't say anything? We were swallowed by a chorus of turbulent music. Through one creature sing many voices. The harmony of an entire collective. Sovereign, she has come. She is here. The choir fades. 
a single melody rises above the others, brassy and commanding. I am sovereign. You see a vision, your lifeless body wrapped in fungal tendrils. The sovereign is threatening you. State your purpose. Hmm. I could focus on my parasite and connect with the sovereign. We also have insight here, which is pretty good. I'm gonna, I'm gonna seek understanding. Focus on the sovereign's song. Five. That's a guaranteed success. You detect a distinct quiver in every note. These creatures have experienced recent tragedy. Hmm. I sense your fear. I've come to aid you. Fungal roots weave through your mind, seeking your true intent. Then the Sovereign drones a new melody, cautious but welcoming. Descend to me. Let us speak in flesh. The persistent music coaxes you forward. The Sovereign expects you. That's quite a thing. That last visual was the Sovereign. Um, Time to skulk back. No, I want to un like unskulk. There you go. Um... Yeah, that, so the Dorgar are attacking them. Maybe I need more pockets. Or they're attacking the Dorgar. I wonder if that's related to how trustworthy forward. they are. Which I doubt is... Scroll of Shatter. Oh yeah, we have that. Uh, which I doubt is, is, that, is the case. I think, you know, the enemy of my enemy in the Underdark is likely still my enemy. Um, but... Uh, but I don't know. We got barrel stalks here. Let's not mess with them. They have a dead one here. And blood. Oh! The Myconid denounces your theft. It means to punish you. I'm gonna truck, walk, talk my way out. With, um... Persuasion? Yeah. Wow. It's a good thing I save, yeah? Yeah. Because evidently, I didn't mean to steal from red containers. I knew what was going to happen, and it's just force of habit, really. Dorgar Spore Servant. Literally doesn't say anything. Yeah, that, that thing should show up as red, and I don't know why it doesn't. It's basically an easy way to fix the need for, um, for safe scanning. I probably shouldn't pick up the mushrooms either. They're probably their cousins or something. Just these guys are everywhere. So we need to go below to see that very scary, very scary, uh, whatever they were called, Sovereign. Chasm Creeper. Oh, that one I can take. It's not their cousin. I can't reach it. Wait, what is that? Sovereign Glut. Oh, that's, is that the thing? I think it is this thing, the thing. I saw a very scary one. It was different. Oh, we got people here? Hello. Seems the shrooms are letting in more people every day. You see a fella on his own on your way in. Dwarf. Balin's his name. Can you describe him? Bald. Blue tunic. Dumb as a stick. I haven't seen him. Right. Never mind. Who is he to you? My useless husband. Sent him for an errand. It's no surprise he's made a mess of it. Oh, it's dangerous down here. Do you need help finding him? Knock yourself out. But don't come begging for coin if you find him. You try to ransom him to me, you'll find yourself skint and stuck with a fat old lout. Sounds good. Show me your wares. All right. What do you have that I like? Caustic Bend. Your weapon attacks also deal two acid damage. Is that all weapon attacks? Huh. I think so. That's pretty awesome. I'll buy that. And I will also buy the padded armor plus two. Because that's good for me. 
What else? Ooh, we got another hand crossbow. Another one plus one. That's really powerful. I think I will do... I think I will use this. I'm just buying all the things. This is not an easy place to get to, so it makes sense that we get really good stuff in here. But that's it. And I will leave. And I will talk to you in a little bit, because what this means... What this means is many great things. Well, one one really bad thing. Oh, I don't look too bad. I mean, it doesn't look as good, but I don't look too bad. This is such a great armor. I will sell it. Uh, but it means I'm not going to use this anymore. I will use this instead. So I will be missing out on some to hit chance. I'll keep it around. But uh, the caustic bend here, because we have multiple rings, that's pretty good. I have a ruby ring. I should not have that. Put it over there. Um, but I think perhaps uh, Lazel. Yeah. Lazel should be the one to have this. Mostly because she has the action surge. Which is just really powerful. My For me, that would be nice. But... Yeah, but Lazel... The thing is, if this creates a splash, which it, which it very well might, it might splash Lazel, so it may be better for ranged weapons. So I'll do that for me. Anyway, uh, next, I need to sell all of my useless stuff to get some of that money back. Well? Uh, what are you doing down here? Right now. Waiting for my idiot husband's return. Lest you've seen him, we don't have much to discuss. That's fair enough. Uh... There must be something else you're up to, though. Like I told you already, I'm waiting for that Lummox Balin. The rest is my own business. I know it's your own business, but... Anyway, show me your wares. Good stuff. <clears throat> this, is, this is definitely very good. And now... We can equip that. And that is very crucial, because it, we have the offhand attack. And if I am not mistaken, the damage is... Wait, what? Oh, right here. <laughs> the damage is the same? It should not be the same. I... Apparently it is. Uh, I was under the impression, even though that's, those are weird rules, I was under the impression that the offhand attack does not apply your proficiency bonus. And I, 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 I was very much... Uh, uh, like, I always th thought that there was a weird rule. But apparently in this game, it does. So we just attack more times. That uh, That's the unbalanced as hell. <laughs> that's really unbalanced. There's no reason to not do that, then. Particularly for a ranged weapon. These things are incredibly powerful. 1d6 versus 1d10? Or 1d8, right. Yeah, yeah I meant 1d8. But if you had a 1d10, which is the, um, the, uh, the heavy crossbow, I believe. I think some people might have... Yeah, it's 1d10. It's still better to have these two. Because then it applies the... the the proficiency bonus twice. That's why it's balanced like that. And uh, but here in my case, which would also be good, uh, it my in my case it also applies the um, the acid damage twice. But also, also, also the extra damage that I do with that special attack that happens at the beginning of combat are, is a flat out two d six um, on top of the damage, so it's not affected by the kind of weapon you use to do that damage to the, that attack. Although it's always nice to have more damage, but yeah, we're just gonna be a killing machine. It's gonna be absurd. It's just gonna be absurd. You're 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 gonna see. I'm looking forward to it, but I'm sure you are as well. Uh, amazing, delicious you were. So um, yeah, so I am still missing quite a lot of money. Honestly, there's still quite a lot of money on the on on the trader. Well, as you can see, and I want it back, so I will sell just the extra equipment that I will not want, because I, I I don't think Gale is going to need any of these. 
And, uh, I will. I need the money. <laughs>